Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to Lesson 7. This is kind of a fun one, at least uh, students seem to really uh, enjoy this particular lesson because it goes over um, searching online in search engines like, pri well, primarily Google. And we cover lots of different aspects of searching in Google and Google-related uh, tools and accounts that you can set up for yourself. Now, already we have looked at a few features from Google, like we've looked at Google Books in the book section. We looked at how to do a, a site search when we were looking at how to find statistics and other little tricks here and there. Some of those I might uh, just briefly repeat um, when I get in the flow of going over different features. But um, Google, for me, is my favorite search engine for finding things online. Um, Google Scholar, we haven't really looked at too much yet, but I'm going to show you how to set up um, preferences within Google Scholar so that you can link through to full text articles using um, Google Scholar. On the resources for le Lesson 7, there's a list of different kinds of terminology related to um, the web, and you can just go through and read this on your own. Um, I'm not going to kind of go through all of this, but it kind of explains some of these terms. If you're not familiar with a blog or a wiki or things like that, you can go through and uh, read those. Um, there's a screen about how to interpret your Google results, um, some Google web search features. Um, these are from the Google website and they're constantly updating them and so you can um, go and, and look through their help pages yourself or there's a link to the updated ones uh, right here. We're going to look at some of the Google tools, um, different accounts as I said that you can sign up for once you have an account with Google. and. Um, then we're going to be covering some of the advanced searching features within Google, which really helps you to fine-tune your re search results and get exactly what you're looking for out of all the millions of uh, pages of garbage that's out there. And so this is where it starts to really get fun. Now, um, oh, and then the preferences is what we'll set up so that you can, um, you know, customize your results. And there are the Google language tools, which we'll take a quick look at. And then there's going to be a section on finding Alaskan resources. When you are looking for something from a specific regional area, it's much difficult. It's much more difficult to find um, items than if you were doing something that's that's more of a national issue. So I'll show you that if you want stuff just per particularly relating to Alaska, there are a couple of good resources for that. Um, and SLED is one of them that we'll look at, the State Library Electronic Doorway for Alaska and also um, Goldmine, which we probably won't really cover. It's sort of an older um, database, but um, it actually has a lot of um, citations uh, about different articles published about Alaska, Northern Canada, Northern Scandinavia, and the Russian Far East and Antarctica. And so it doesn't have a lot of full text, but it does give you information about what has been published out there so that you can then go and find that um, you know newspaper or journal article through through the library or find a book through the library. It's just telling you that these have been published specifically about Alaska. And then for, at the very end, if there's time, we'll cover product reviews and online shopping. This thing you can kind of just go through on your own actually. And it's, it's really sort of my tips about how I go about buying something new online. Um, so it's basically just some tips for if you want to find really good deals on you know electronics or airfare or anything like that there are some steps that you can do and some tips for finding out whether or not a company that you might want to buy from online is legitimate and things like that so those are the resources for lesson seven the homework assignment is really just a list of questions um, these may change actually by the time that you get your uh, assignment for, for lesson seven because um, sometimes I update these uh, every semester or so just so that students don't keep getting the, the same questions and essentially what the questions require you to do is sort of think outside the box think about um, what pieces of the of the um, puzzle do you know what pieces of the puzzle do you not know in order to, to find the answer and then you sort of um, need to do some sample searching in Google to see if you can find the answer to the questions and you really have to, to be sort of a sleuth 
but um, hopefully these questions will show you um, some new ways to think about how to find things and um, most students do really well on this assignment. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started um, with the first uh, part on Google and um, if you have any questions about the homework assignment or you get stuck on one of the questions, as always, just send me a quick email or give me a call and I will help you um, work out whatever thing you get stuck on. So great, let's get started. <laughs> 